Hello dear friends. Today I am going to tell you about this PG E module. What is it all about? What is pediatrics? What are the challenges faced by you, the postgraduates in the specialty of pediatrics, both while working and while learning? How this particular course or how e-learning complements your learning other than the traditional learning that you do through the textbook and in-service learning. We will also tell you how to integrate this course with your ongoing learning things and what is this platform and how it will help you in improving your skills, how it will help you in improving your performance even at the examination level. So these are the learning objectives which I have already talked about and now let's see what is pediatrics if you just see pediatrics as an overview of pediatrics pediatrics is a is a delicate and fascinating subject it's no other subject in in medicine gives you as much joy as pediatric does because every day and night you are dealing with children who give you such a beautiful smile children their parents and they, they're really so happy when their children get cured. So you are not only curing the children, you are providing happiness and joy to the entire family. And if you invest in pediatrics, you are treating a child, he becomes okay. You see his or her fruitful life so that he or she is there for another 70, 80, 90 years till whatever the last time and a child whenever if he even becomes an adult remembers always remembers his or her pediatrician i have now uh, patients who are now uh, 30 years old and they still remember me as uh, their pediatrician and they would often come to me for the first advice even they they are adults so that is the beauty of pediatry it is mostly preventive in nature the other specialties are curative Pediatrics is primarily preventive in nature. Preventive means you start from the newborn period. You do breastfeeding, so you are preventing so many of things that are going to occur in future of life. Even before conception, you are taking care that a child is not born low birth weight. You know about Barker's hypothesis. A low birth weight child is prone to adult diseases like hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disorders. So you can prevent, the prevention starts right from within the womb, at the fetal life. And then you have immunization. And then you have parental counseling, anticipatory counseling for each and every problem that is there in the pediatric, uh, total uh, gambit of the pediatrics uh, specialty. And at the same time, it is not only as I earlier said, it is not only you are giving the child a smile, but you are giving the entire family, the parents a smile. So you have interaction with the parents and other than child's ill health, you can talk to them about their nutrition of their children. You can talk to them about early learning opportunities of their children. You can talk to them about the safety and security of the children. And you can talk to them about responsive parenting. These are the five pillars of, you know, the nurturing care for early childhood development and environment. What are the challenges? Let's now let's talk about the challenges faced by postgraduates, by you. There, there are several challenges. We, we understand that, that primarily you are dealing with children who can't explain their symptoms, who don't know. So you have to, you have to just rely on what the parents convey to you. A child may be just crying and you have to find out the diagnosis. You have to give the treatment and stop the crying. It, just what the parents want that the child should stop crying and you have to find the cause and treat so that appropriately the child stops crying. Then the child's participation, at times the children are not cooperative. And even if the children are not cooperative, you have to find ways to uh, elicit the various signs and to find the symptoms and to come to a diagnosis. So even in, in an uncooperative child, it is your skill how you pacify the child. At times, children are crying in the laps of their mother or fathers. But when they come to pediatrician, 
repeatedly, they are more happy with the pediatrician. So that is a skill you develop to pacify children. You are then managing the entire family unit. It is not only the child that you are managing and you are doing it all in the post graduation also you have a very extremely busy schedule and after when you go into the practice you become a pediatrician then also you will have an extremely busy schedule because day and night children can become cranky any time of the day now let's let's give some attention to what is the pg pediatric training program normally what happens you have your clinical exposure, you are posted in the wards, you are posted in OPD, you are posted in newborn clinic, follow-up clinic and all this emergency. So all this you are doing. Then you are exposed to various specialties, neonatology, cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, emergency medicine, uh, intensive care unit, neonatal intensive care units and, and so forth. And the second thing that you are doing is that you have to complete a thesis mandatorily. The third thing, but the most important thing, which differentiates it from undergraduate learning, that it is a basically a self-learning procedure, a self-study, because there are hardly any lecture schedules which used to occur in the undergraduate days. Maybe you are having case discussions, you are having journal clubs, and you are having um, uh, some uh, discussion on the rounds, but mostly the textbook, or the theory part you have to read on your own so it is a self learning and then you are likely and you are maybe you want an assistant or a teacher there who can explain those concepts which are very uh, well given in a textbook but at times you need a teacher to explain it to you and then in the examination again your knowledge and your uh, skills are tested by approached base case discussion so you want to be fluent in when you are discussing your case scenarios and apply whatever you have read in the theory in your practical learning. Now coming to this e-learning, how this e-learning complement the textbook that you are reading. As I said, this e-learning is also a part of self-study. That textbook study is also a part of your self-study. But why should you see this module? Why should you go to e-learning when you already have the textbook? That, that is a basic question that must be in your mind. So what are the advantages? Advantages, one, number one, advantage of a teacher. You have a person there who is explaining and at times you, you know that somebody explains to you, you can get it better rather than reading it on the textbook. So that is one of the major advantages. The second advantage that in the textbook, usually you read the theory that about the prevalence of the disease, mechanism of the disease, pathophysiology, clinical features and all. But in actuality, you encounter patients or clinical cases. So this is the beauty of this e-module that we here are using case scenarios to teach various uh, diseases and various disorders which are important, especially from uh, your practice and your examination point of view. That is the second advantage. The third advantage, we have an advantage because this is a visual media. So you have advantage of demonstration. There are in textbook, nobody is going to explain you how to elicit a particular sign, how to do the systemic examination or how a patient uh, would behave or certain kind of seizures will look like. In, in this media, through this e-learning, you have all these advantages. That means you will be demonstrated how to examine a particular patient in neurology, how to do sensory examination, how to do motor examination, what are the various type of gates? You can see them. Neonatal reflexes, how to examine them. So all these will be a part of this e-module, which you usually don't get by just reading the textbook or even by reading the clinical methods book. There is advantage of convenience. Uh, you can do it. See, all these e-modules, lectures, sessions are available on your phone. So when you are free, even in emergency, it's a busy emergency, but you get half an hour, one hour, you can't even rest because you, uh, you can't sleep because you know that some, a patient is going to come any other time. So within that half hour or one hour also, you can just switch on your phone and you can see half a session for 30 minutes or so and then again go back to your work. So this gives you convenience 
any time, anywhere, you can access this e-course and see it. And repeatedly you can see it and uh, revise it if you need it. There is the advantage of flexibility. It is not essential that you should read in the same manner. You can have uh, whatever the topics you like first, whatever the topic, maybe there is a discussion or seminar, let's say on typhoid fever or maybe immunization the next day. So you just go, click on the immunization topics, see that chat show and you are prepared for the next day discussion. And then you have the advantage of ongoing interaction. See, this is not a one-time module that we are providing to you. This is a one-time module, agreed, where we have around 125, 130 sessions. But at the ongoing level, we will continue to interact with you. Every month, we will be having a chat with all of you where an expert of a particular specialty of pediatrics will be there. We will also be having journal clubs and we will also be apprising you of recent updates in pediatrics every month in a, in a phase wise manner. So this is going to be an online process and it is not only a one time module that we are giving it to you. So as I said, this PG pediatric course complements the PG textbook of pediatrics, uh, which I have edited and which covers more than 600 topics. And in this uh, module, we have at present taken around 125, 130, between 25 to 130 topics and which can be better explained with the help of a teacher. So this will be a complementary to the PG textbook. And as we grow, as you give us the feedback, we can always increase on the number of sessions. We can include more sessions and make it more lively. It all depends on how you want it to be. The course will evolve only with your feedback and positive suggestions. DigiNerve, which is the platform on this program, is uh, this module is hosted, is an uh, initiative of JP Brothers. It is easily accessible on phone through an application. You can learn at your own pace at any time, anywhere. You have fascinating experience of a classroom experience along with interactivity. And you can learn from the renowned medical gurus. The features of this online course. There is a wide content coverage. One, there are case scenarios and video demonstration. Two, it offers 90 video hours and around 130 topics contributed by 100 contributors and 13 section editors. You will see another video where I am introducing these section editors. So you will realize they are the stalwarts in their own fields within the overall broad specialty of pediatrics. The entire course is divided into 17 modules. Each module is related to a particular specialty and there is a self-assessment of around 5 to 7 MCQ at the end of each session also. So that you can quickly uh, uh, know that whatever you have learned, you have really imbibed that particular knowledge. Then the course also comes with a drug formulary. In your busy emergency, when you can't uh, find the dose of a drug, you don't need to look in your book. You just uh, open this application and you see the drug formulary and you will find the dose and the drug uh, of that particular drug. And as I said, this is not a one time module. This is an ongoing module with your chat, discussion, journal club and recent advances. So dear friends, we hope that um, you will benefit from this course and uh, uh, see this and we, we are eagerly waiting for your feedback because your feedback is the most important thing we are cherishing and we will be able to improve only once we receive your criticism not only positive we are we are open to all the criticism as well so criticism and positive feedback thank you thank you very much for subscribing to this e-course and watching the sessions